Okay, let me start already. Yeah? So those who want to come in, they may come in a bit later. Right? So good evening. Um, today my session is about how doTERRA essential oils can support uh, autistic children. I have been using doTERRA essential oils for the past six years, coming to seven years. My name is Kavita. I'm a pharmacist by profession. And the reason I started using doTERRA essential oils almost seven years ago was because of my son. I have two teenage boys and I live in Penang. My youngest one at that time was diagnosed with um, a blood cancer called leukemia at the age of 16 months old. Right. So after undergoing uh, treatment, which was chemotherapy for almost two years plus, it was time for him at about almost five years old to start going to kindergarten like any other normal child. And I had a lot of uh, worry at that point because his immune system was not strong enough to handle infections. And unlike normal children, if he did have an infection, a fever or so on, we had to take him back to see his oncologist for further investigation. And that was very traumatic for us because we had undergone more than two years of being in and out of hospital and the hospital was basically our second home. So with all this worry, I was looking for something that uh, would be able to support his system to heal his immune system, his respiratory system, because he was often um, having a chesty cough with flu, you know, very fast he will get it and it takes a very long time to recover. And being a pharmacist, I knew all the medications I could give him. I could support his system in a, you know, from nutrition as well. But, you know, it was just not working the way I wanted it to be. And so my journey with doTERRA started uh, almost six years ago uh, when he started going uh, to kindergarten. And I started using them very proactively for him and I've seen tremendous results. And uh, from there, I started learning, researching, and I started sharing the benefits of nature's medicine cabinet, I would call it, how it can enhance, how it can restore, how it can protect our health physically, mentally, and emotionally. So before I go further, I would like to share a very short video on what are actually essential oils because mm -hmm. many of us have many different ideas and perception about what are essential oils. So I'm going to share a very short video right now, right? There are no wasted efforts in nature. The fragrance of a flower, the smell of an orange or the scent of a pine tree all serve specific purposes vital to a plant's survival. What our senses perceive as fragrances or scents are actually volatile aromatic compounds, tiny organic molecules that serve a variety of protective, reproductive and regenerative purposes. These compounds help ward off unfriendly pests, attract friendly herbivores and insects, and even help the plant heal from infection and physical injury. There are over 3,000 identified varieties of aromatic compounds, each with its own unique and functional chemical constituents that provide different aromas and benefits to the plants. From the petals of a flower, to the leaves of a plant, the rind of a fruit, or the resin of a tree, these volatile aromatic compounds are all around us. Distilled directly from their plant sources, essential oils are multifaceted agents that have seemingly endless applications to our health and can be used aromatically, topically, or internally. Ensuring the maximum potency and beneficial properties of an essential oil are the result of maintaining the delicate ratio of aromatic constituents found in that essential oil, all of which can vary depending on the time of day or part of the plant which is harvested time of year or life cycle when harvested, the geographic location and whether where the plant was grown, or the method and even the duration of inflation. For that reason, it is vital that essential oils come from a trusted source committed to not only producing unadulterated essential oils, but to adhering to the strictest production protocols. 
There are no wasted efforts in nature. Neither should there be in the health care you provide for yourself and those you love. All right, so that was a very short video to give you an idea of what are essential oils actually. So now let me go into my uh, screen sharing. Right, so today I'm going to share how we can support autism, uh, dyslexia, ADD, ADHD with doTERRA essential oils. Okay, so first of all, the information presented in this class is for educational purposes only. It is not intended to diagnose or treat any health condition, and you should not use it as a substitute for consulting your professional, healthcare provider, or your doctor, right? So for this session, uh, these are some of the references I have used uh, to, uh, to create the uh, information that I'm sharing today. Now, the first book that I have been using since um, I bought this book in 2017, I've actually dated it inside. This book is the basis of, I would call it, um, healing the gut and uh, using food as medicine, all right? Because this book is written by Dr. Natasha Campbell. She is actually the leading uh, expert, I would call it, in uh, healing the gut using nutrition. And she is the founder of the GAPS diet, which is gut and psychology syndrome. So this book, it basically covers nutrition, what your child should be eating and what they should not be eating. Okay, roughly how to support the immune system. And she also talks about um, the kind of supplements they should be on and also the kind of uh, products that they should and should not use because she also stresses on the environmental toxicity that we expose our children to knowingly or unknowingly, which is in our home. And I'm going to touch on that later and how we can use natural solutions to help with those issues. Now, the other three uh, websites you will see me say there is PubMed and so on. Those are medical-based, uh, science-based, scientific journal or website where I have used to get the uh, scientific data to back up the usages of the oils. Now, this book in 2017, I was not able to find it in uh, Malaysia. So, I ordered via bookdepository.com. Uh, they ship from UK. It takes about a month, but you know, uh, you get the book, and this book is a really good investment, not just for, you know, issues of uh, all those issues, but just for good, vibrant health. This is a basis of uh, healing the gut, the mind, and it's a very holistic approach, which is I find it's a really good book. Okay, so what is autism? It is actually known as autism spectrum disorder in medical terms, and it is a brain disorder that occurs usually in children, okay, with different mental challenges like repetitive behavior, social communication, and difficulties in learning. And most of this is picked up um, in the early ages before three years old, lah, usually, yeah, by your physician or by yourself, you know that something is not quite right, okay? Now, when uh, this session, I'm also going to make it clear that um, these essential oils do not cure autism, Okay, essential oils do not cure any illnesses, but they are safe, natural, and effective tools that can help empower us to help with any of these conditions, to help the body heal and to restore itself. So we are going to be, I'm going to be sharing how these oils can be used in a very proactive manner to help with issues that you may be facing as a parent or a caregiver, right? And we are also going to share, I'm also going to share with you the kinds of um, steps that you can take to make your home environment safer with less toxic entities floating around in the air. Okay, so these are some of the challenges that uh, I find, you know, parents with autistic children, they inform me that these are the main challenges they are facing. Number one is the hyperactivity. Their child is not able to sit 
still for long periods, you know, they have lack of focus, they feel spaced out, they are not focusing, you know, they have got mood swings, they become aggressive, they are banging their head on the wall, they are rolling on the floor, they are hitting the wall, they are hitting stuff, they are throwing objects, okay, aggressive behavior, difficulty in sleeping, uh, mainly falling asleep and also staying asleep, okay, so disrupted, sometimes they wake up a couple of times at night, okay, so this is, um, this is not healthy, restful sleep, okay, and also they also uh, complain about a lot of stomach related issues, mainly constipation and also diarrhea, so this stomach issue is actually an imbalance of the gut bacteria, so we have to go back to looking at the kinds of foods that they are eating and frequently unwell. When the gut is not well, usually we have a lot of issues that the child is going to face and one of them is the immune system will not be very robust, not very strong. So regardless of whether you use essential oils or not, it is always very important to touch base with this basic of healthcare, okay, regardless of any issue. So the first thing we know that we need to eat right because the food is our fuel and the food is our medicine. So for food related issues, if you're looking specifically for autism, Dr. Natasha's, no, Dr. Natasha's book is a book that I would highly recommend or else you can also Google up GAPS diet and read a little bit about uh, the recommendations that she makes, right? Uh, we do have some parents in, in my team of users, they are following the GAPS diet in a very strict manner for the past couple of years and they find a great amount of improvement for their children on top of using essential oils and reducing the toxicity in their home. Now the second part is exercise, right? Get them moving because this is good for them to release uh, all this pent up energy that they have and of course it's healthy for their body, for their mind, it gives them restful sleep, right? Just like for an adult we also need our exercise. Rest and managing sleep. Now, this is a bit difficult for them because they are always restless, okay? Children with autism have a lot of stress and that's why they have got very high levels of cortisol level in their body. When you have high levels of cortisol in your body, even for a normal person, you have a lot of issues cropping up, okay? Irritability, inability to sleep, you can't focus, you know? brain fog, all these things happen because of the stress. So I'm going to guide you on how you can use the oils to relieve that kind of stress. Okay, Reducing toxic load is another thing that uh, we, we sort of, we are not really aware that we are using it, but we are, so I'm going to guide you on that. Uh, this is the environmental toxicity that we are exposing ourselves and our children at home. Now, if you go out, of course, we cannot uh, you know, you cannot control the outer environment, but at home, you can do so much, right? So I'm going to guide you on that as well. And informed self-care. Informed self-care means like what we have been doing for the past year, washing our hands, keeping ourselves healthy. That is informed self-care. If you're not well, you need to see a physician or a doctor to get yourself checked out. When I'm talking about body burden earlier, okay, these are some of the things that we need to look into that it may have not come into our radar or our, our mind that this could be an issue that could worsen the symptoms. Okay, the first thing is what are we inhaling? What are we breathing at home? Now many homes, of course every home we like our homes to smell good, right? Nobody wants a home that smells lousy. So we use, many homes use fragrances. These are artificial fragrances that we spray on our curtains, we have a uh, artificial fragrance in the toilet, we have an artificial fragrance in our cupboard because we want our clothes to smell good. So all this artificial stuff, when we inhale, and of course, it goes into your system, right? And our body has to process that and it has to clear that out of the system. Now for children with autism, they have difficulty in excreting or getting rid of all these kind of chemicals. It's harder for them than a normal child. So that's why we need to clean the environment that we are living in. Now, the second thing is, what are you using for their body wash, for their shower, for their facial wash? Are they using any deodorants? Are you using any perfume? Okay, so these things 
have got a lot of chemicals as well. Now, if you look at your soap or your shampoo, you look at the ingredients, you will find that a lot of the ingredients, you don't even know what they are because it's all chemically synthesized. So this is something that when you apply on your skin, your skin is the largest organ in your body. This, whatever that you apply, goes into your system. And again, for a child with autism, they have difficulty excreting it out. So it's all being accumulated in their body, right? Now, the other thing is, of course, we're looking at um, stress hormones. Because I mentioned those with higher amount of cortisol due to stress, they may have other issues cropping up as well. Okay, so these are the main ones I would say we need to put in um, more focus on. And of course, chemical toxins. What are we using to clean our home? When you mop your floor, when you wash your toilet, if you look at the ingredients again, there may be a lot of fragrance, there may be a lot of chemicals. You may need to use gloves when you wash your toilet with certain chemicals. And after you wash your toilet, after three days, you can still smell the chemical smell there. You know, all these are going into your body and into your child's body. Even after you mop your floor, okay, whatever residue is there when we walk, you know, our homes, we are barefooted, right? We don't wear shoes in our home. These are going into the system. So we want to make sure that we do not want all this accumulated toxicity going into the body. So let me just uh, recap back the few things that we need to be putting in our attention into, especially for children with autistic uh, issues, right? So the first is nutrition. If we're looking at uh, Dr. Natasha's book, she recommends going gluten-free and casein-free and to eliminate as much as possible refined sugars. A lot of them are in our processed food, flavorings, preservative, modern food, okay? Very modern food. Uh, we need to increase their intake of pre and probiotics. These are good bacteria because we know that all these issues start from the stomach, the gut. So when we heal the gut, everything else will start to heal on its own and it takes time. It's not something that happens overnight. For some of them in, our, in, my, in my team that I have guided, it, they have taken two to three years and they see the improvement gradually, right? Healthy fats, lean protein and fiber. Exercise and sunlight is a must because these also help with healing the body as well. Stress management, okay, and to reduce the toxic burden, just now I mentioned, right, your personal care products. The other thing that she mentions in her book, uh, this is uh, on page 308, uh, she points out that SLS is highly toxic, okay, and fluoride. She does not recommend any products with fluoride, but unfortunately, a lot of our toothpaste in the market has fluoride. So if you're looking for a fluoride-free toothpaste, you can try to use your Terra On Guard toothpaste. They are fluoride-free and sugar-free. Okay, and you use only a pea-sized amount. So this is a very safe option for your children. Cleaning products, try to avoid those with a lot of chemicals. Again, your Terra also carries cleaning products. They have their laundry detergent. They have their um, cleaner concentrate that you can mop your floor with. Uh, and also they've got their hand wash because this for the past year we've all been washing our hands very very diligently right so whatever that you're washing your hand with whatever hand wash you're using those are also going into your body right so they have got products for that as well and perfume and fragrances what we spray on ourselves right when our child comes to hug and kisses uh, the kind of makeup that we use the kind of uh, personal care products that we use as a mother, when your child hugs and kisses you, it is going into their system as well. So we try to minimize those products. And of course, good quality sleep, because when they have good quality sleep, you find that the symptoms of the hyperactivity, the restlessness, the lack of focus will definitely reduce. So let me go through very briefly what are essential oils. As you watched in the video, these are natural extracts. From plants, it could be seed, bark, flower, root, and essential oils have been used from the beginning of time, okay, before pharmaceuticals came in and so on. So back to me, um, six years ago when I started, you know, uh, thinking about essential oils, first of all, I was very hesitant because for me, my perception of essential oil is um, aromatherapy, you know, you diffuse it, you put a burner, you put a candle and oh, it smells good and that was it. 
I was not looking for that because I was looking for something that would help my son's immune system. I wanted his respiratory system to be better. You know, I wanted that. And I wanted something safe. I wanted something effective. And I wanted something affordable. If it's too expensive, I cannot afford to maintain for him. That would be pointless for me. So when I started researching into essential oils, I realized there are many grades of essential oils. I was not aware, right? So the one that you find the largest amount is the synthetic, which we also have in our home. Look into your body wash, your shampoo, your hand wash. If it says lavender body wash, if you look at the ingredients, it will say fragrance. Very unlikely it will say lavender essential oil. Okay, those, if you have those, those are on the higher end side, not the common ones, right? So these are synthetically made in a lab to smell like lavender, but it does not give you any benefit of the pure lavender essential oil. Now, the second one, if you look at it, the green one, that is the food grade where we use in our food, our baking, our cooking, right? The food grade. Now, the third one is the purple circle, which is the therapeutic grade. There are a couple of brands, many brands in the market that are therapeutic. Now then comes doTERRA, which is the orange one, the bull's eye, CPTG, now, certified pure therapeutic grade, is a branding or a name that doTERRA has coined for itself. Because we know that there is no um, health organization, there is no FDA that oversees the essential oil market in the world. So anybody can come up with a bottle of essential oil and just label it pure lavender essential oil. Now, how are we going to know that this oil is pure, number one, and this oil is potent, number two? So this is why doTERRA decided that there were so many discrepancies in the essential oil market that they wanted to provide the best quality and give you that confidence that this oil that you're buying, this bottle that you're buying contains the pure essential oil and it is potent. It potent means you use only one or two drops and you get the desired effect to your physical, mental and emotional well-being. Now, if you have got any essential oils bottles in your house, okay, now this is a rough guide on how to choose your essential oils, how to know your oils are pure. Number one, what kind of plant quality is being used, okay? Are they using any chemicals when they grow and they, you know, harvest the plants. Number two, what kind of production practices, okay? Are there tests being done? Number three, what kind of tests are being done? And are these tests transparent? Are they able to show you the results that they have done these tests? Is it third-party certified? Third-party means uh, you have done once and you give it, you outsource it to another company to test it again, to prove that, hey, yes, it's true that this is pure. Okay, this third-party means you cannot cheat, lah, can? right? And of course, the fourth one is how is your bottle packaged? All essential oils usually, they are in an amber glass bottle, right? So now let's come back to doTERRA essential oils. Number one, I told you where are your plants coming from? Now, if you look at a very basic essential oil, everyone knows lavender essential oil, right? Now, in lavender family itself, they have got so many species. But for us, we know lavender is lavender, lah, okay? Now, with doTERRA oils, it is specific to the species. They are using lavender agostifolia. Now, this particular species, they get it from France because they found out that when they go all over the world, lavender essential oil, the plant lavender, grows naturally in abundance there, okay? Because of the temperature, the soil, the weather is perfect or that lavender plant. And when they distill these lavenders across the globe, right? Just like we also have lavender plant in Cameron Highland, right? But it will not give you that kind of content. The content that they were looking for was called linalol. Now, linalol is the chemistry, the ingredient in lavender essential oil. So when we use that lavender essential oil, we feel, oh, it's so calming, it's so soothing. I feel zen. I feel relief. It's because of that linalol, right? So that's why doTERRA gets their lavender from that part of the world. Very similarly, you know, if I ask you if you want to have the best durian, you come to Penang to Balik Pulau because you know that durians there are great. 
because of the temperature, the weather, the soil. If you decide to take that durian fruit, that, that seed and go somewhere else to plant it, it's very unlikely that you would get the same texture of the durian. Right? Am I right? Okay. So now, let's look at the tests that are done. Now, this, they go through many, many tests and I'm not going to go through individually because this is very boring stuff. So there are lots of tests that are done from the time that they are distilled right to being bottled. Now, the test that is very important for us to know if you're using any essential oil is called the GCMS testing, right? Now, when I mentioned earlier about a third party uh, doing their GCMS test, this is the lab. It's called APRC. And the job of APRC is to test all essential oils that are sent there. So this is their third party, okay? So what you can do is, I mentioned pure and potent. So how are we going to know doTERRA oils are pure and potent? They say they are pure and potent, but what is the proof? We want the proof, okay? So you can go to this website, www.sourcetoyou.com. It is open to public, and you can look at the bottom of the bottle, every single bottle of essential oil, the single oils, yeah? Lavender, peppermint, lemon, and so on. There is a batch number underneath. So you just have to conveniently key it in. Okay, this is a sample of my Spearmint essential oil bottle. All right, so I keyed it in. And um, what happened was this is what you can see. This is what a GCMS test result looked like. We may not be able to decipher it, but it's good to know that they are able to provide a GCMS test to show you that what you are buying is really pure. If you have an essential oil bottle or a company that does not know what a GCMS test is or they do not do one, then it is best for you not to purchase these kind of oils because if you're using adulterated oils, meaning other stuff have been added in, you're not going to benefit from what you're supposed to benefit. And number two, it's going to be toxic to your family and to your child. So it's best not to use Right, okay, now let me go through how are we going to use the oils. We know what are they, how are they uh, derived, and what kind of um, tests that need to be done, right? So how are we going to use it? Number one, we are going to diffuse it. Diffuse means you break the particles of the essential oil into smaller particles, and we inhale it. Now, this is a petal diffuser. With doTERRA oils, we do not use candle and burner, okay, because the heat from the candle it changes the chemistry of the oil. So with doTERRA oils, no candle, no burner. It must be a diffuser. We fill it up with water and put in four drops of essential oil. Why is it that we need to use a diffuser? Okay, for first of all, number one, we want our child to have that focus when they are doing work, whatever work that they're doing. Even though it's online learning or you are teaching them one-to-one, -one, we want that focus so we can diffuse selected oils. Number two, we diffuse to cleanse the air at the same time. Some oils have got so many usages. So you don't have to say, oh, I need to diffuse this oil for focus, the other oil for oil cleansing, air cleansing. No, it's multi-purpose many times depending on the oil. So we want to cleanse the air so that we, they do not fall sick easily because of infections. Number three, we want to diffuse an oil to let them calm down before bed so that they can wind down the body is calm and they are able to fall asleep easily and they're able to stay asleep longer and they wake up feeling fresh, right? Now, the other way of using on a fast one-to-one -one basis is to use our palm. So we just need to drop, this is lavender, huh? one drop of essential oil and we can rub the palm together. Can, you can do this for your children, okay, on your hands, and you can just do this near their nose. Ask them to close their eyes, and you can ask them to inhale and exhale. You can do this for about a couple of minutes. When you are doing this to them, they are basically inhaling the oils. It's going into their brain. It, it is going to affect their limbic system and their amygdala. This is where the neurotransmitters of the brain are being balanced. Right? So it depends on what you want to use the oil for. Okay, So the second way is to apply topically. Topically means you're going to apply it on their skin, on their body. Now, I know for a fact that uh, a lot of children 
with autistic tendencies, they do not like to be touched, right? So sometimes it's difficult to get them down and to apply the oils. Some of them may not like certain aromas. So it takes some time to familiarize themselves with certain aromas as well. So if you're going to be applying it on them and they do not allow you to touch them, you can use the sole of the feet. The sole of the feet basically has got the thickest skin and when you apply it uh, in a matter of minutes, all the oils are actually servicing every cell in, your, in the child's body. So this is a good way uh, to use the oils. If they do allow you to apply on their chest and on their spine, that would be good as well. right? As time goes by, they will get familiar and they will allow you. Now, what do we use to dilute the oil when we apply it on our skin? Now, like I mentioned just now, these oils are very pure and potent. For example, a drop of peppermint essential oil. Right? A peppermint essential oil, one drop is equivalent to 20 over cups of peppermint tea. Now, that is very, very potent. Okay, So, when we are going to use these essential oils, just one drop of the essential oil and we use a carrier oil called the fractionated coconut oil. It's about 10 drops to 20 drops on your palm. Rub together and apply. Now, this fractionated coconut oil will help to increase the absorption of the essential oil into your body. It's a very economical way to use and a very safe way to use. Because if you use these oils undiluted, need application, the child's skin will end up having rashes and we do not want that to happen. So we must always dilute the oils. If you're going to be using a roller bottle, let's say for convenience, you don't want to keep using your palm, you want to make a roller bottle, also, this can be done in a very simple manner, which I will guide you, right? Now, the third way is to consume. You may not be comfortable consuming the essential oil or to let your child consume. That is absolutely fine. Uh, but just to let you know that some of these essential oils can be consumed. It can be used in your cooking and your baking. Uh, and there's no problem with that, right? So let me go through very quickly the oils that I would highly recommend. Uh, if you're going to support your child who has autistic tendencies. Now, the first thing is their immune system because of their gut, their stomach issues, um, they have got a tendency to fall sick a bit more frequently. So if you want to support their immune system, this is the oil of choice. It is called doTERRA On Guard. And this oil basically helps... Um, it's got a combination of wild orange, clove, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, and rosemary. And it can be used to cleanse the air, like what we have been doing for the past one year, you know. Uh, cleansing the air, we can use it to apply on the soul. We can even use it to clean our homes uh, very, very safely and very, very conveniently. So I'm sharing here uh, an article or a study done almost 11 years ago. This was doTERRA on guard versus the influenza virus 11 years ago. And they found that this uh, on guard combination attenuates the virus. Now, attenuate means it slows down the replication of the virus. We know that a virus uh, is a very smart uh, being in the sense that it invades us as a host and it uses us like a photocopy machine and they go all out and invade us. So what on guard can do is it can stop or it can slow down the replication of the virus in hopes that your body, because we have our own immune system, would be able to kill off the viral infection or a bacteria infection. Again, there's only so much an essential oil can do. It is not some magic oil that would do all the work for you. Okay, it can go up to a certain extent. Now, the second oil that a lot of parents use is lavender, like I mentioned, because it's very calming and soothing. So it helps for stress, it helps for sleep, and it helps for calming because of the linalol. For instance, if your child is having issues like dry skin, rashes, and so on, and you are going to use an OTC product that may have other chemicals inside, this is a really good, safe option to use. Just lavender essential oil with some carrier oil, fractionated coconut oil, and you can use it beautifully. It helps with the healing. Over down here, I have um, sort of put in an article where they mention about lavender and how it can help with emotions as well, especially with restlessness. It helps to balance the serotonin and dopamine 
production in the brain as well. So you feel calm and you feel good as well. Now the second one is the um, the digestive blend. It used to be called Digest Zen, but now it's called Zen Jet. Okay, because children have a lot of issues with cramping, they can't go to toilet, bloatedness, because when your stomach is not well, even for us adults, we feel very, very uncomfortable and it just, you know, makes us feel very lousy. The mood is just not there. Okay, so imagine the child who is constantly having a stomach discomfort every day. Okay, so besides nourishing the body with the probiotics and the food, this is another additional tool. So we just need to dilute a drop of the oil, 10 drops of coconut oil, and we apply on the stomach area even every 3 to 4 hourly. Right? So this would help soothe the cramping and so on. Okay. Now the third oil that many of us use is vetiver. Now this oil is a root and it's very uh, earthy kind of soil kind of smell and it really if, if i use this oil i tell you it's just knock out our sleep because it's very very grounding and it puts you just into like a sedative mode so this is used a lot to balance emotions and restlessness and irritability that your child may face so again we dilute it we can diffuse it and apply it along the spine this is a good one even for um, times in the morning because a lot of them, they have got, uh, you know, that irritability and they cannot just sit still. So for those with autism, you can even use it in the morning. It's very, very useful. And of course, at night before bed. So it sort of gives their body time to unwind and go to bed. Okay. Now, the other one that here I'm talking about is called Lavender Peace. Now, this is a beautifully blended um, essential oil. Just now, I mentioned about vetiver, right? So, vetiver is inside here with lavender and a couple of other oils that have been specially formulated by doTERRA to handle uh, and soothe and handle issues with sleep. Okay, so they have got the restlessness coming in um, and agitation before bed, so you can diffuse it, you can dilute it and apply along the spine, on the chest and um, I would usually recommend, you know, you start your diffuser. This is actually, uh, it can go up to 12 hours. This is the Petal 2.0 with very little water. It has a night light and it will auto off. So you don't have to be scared about anything else happening. You can just leave it on and when your oils are being diffused as you sleep, you find that they sleep through the night, they wake up less uh, with disruptive kind of sleep, you know, and when they sleep well, the next day when they wake up, they are in a better mood and so are you, right? Now, these oils that I mentioned is not just for your child. It's also important to take care of yourself as a mother and the caregiver. So a lot of times, it's very frustrating to keep handling all these issues at home, especially the past year, it's been very challenging for everyone. So off and on, you can also take, apply and inhale just to give yourself a break from all this stress and tension that you are facing on a daily basis. Okay, so this is another good one. Now, Zendocrine has been uh, renamed as uh, Zendo in Malaysia. So this one is a detoxification blend. You know, earlier I mentioned about the children having difficulty excreting Okay, because of their stomach issues, they're not able to excrete uh, consistently uh, every day sometimes. So a lot of toxins are being held back into the body and this is being circulated in the body. So even for a normal healthy person, it is good to detoxify, to help the body detoxify. Of course, we know that our body detoxifies on its own. The kidney is working, the liver is working, our skin is working, we are sweating. But... How can we aid uh, and help a further one more step, right? So for children, I would recommend if they can sit still for 20 minutes. Okay, this one is good to get a pail of water. Warm water will be nice at the end of the day before they go to bed. You can put some Epsom salt. Now, this Epsom salt you can get from a local pharmacy. They do have. These are high in magnesium. So, and you can add about two or three drops of this Zendocrine essential oil. So what it does is it helps to support the natural detoxification of the body. 
Now, as they are being detoxified, you know, all these chemicals that you are inhaling, that you are applying, that you are eating, is coming out on a daily basis. At the same time, the magnesium from the Epsom salt is also being absorbed into the system. One of the benefits of magnesium for these children is it helps to relax them because they have difficulty being relaxed and calm. So this is really good to do as we drop it. So they would also have good sleep. Okay. The next one is copaiba. Now copaiba is a resin like uh, like rubber, you know, getah. So this copaiba is very well known for its beta carephaline uh, ingredient. Okay, so this beta carephaline, the the chemical constituent is very very small, okay, very very tiny in size, and it's able to go through the blood brain barrier. That is a, a layer that uh, protects our brain, just like the ozone protects our earth. So our brain, our main computer, is protected by a barrier. So this copaiba basically can go in and help with anxious feelings. It can help to regulate emotions and at the same time it also helps to promote detoxification and supports inflammation right so this is a good one that a lot of parents like to use as a top-up as well the next one is frankincense now this is a very much well-known essential oil and very prized uh, for its healing properties and doTERRA frankincense is a marriage of four species they come from Oman Okay, and uh, even in the Bible, right, if, uh, you, if you're reading the Bible, this essential oil is mentioned as one of the gifts to baby Jesus when he was born. So the king of oil, frankincense, has uh, this content called alpha pyanine. Again, like beta carephaline, the molecules are very small and they can go through the blood-brain barrier in a very, very efficient manner. And that is why it is used to support the limbic system, the emotions, the responses, you know, that calming, grounding, soothing uh, attributes that it has. And it also helps to retain memory and focus, which is what a lot of children have difficulty in. And therefore, this frankincense has been added into a focus blend. Okay, these are all the ingredients in the focus blend. If you're going to look at it individually, they have got a lot of benefits as well, but basically they have married, married all these oils into a blend called Intune. So the application would be at the back of the spine, at the neck, nearest to your brain, so that the oils can go through into your brain faster than if you apply on the feet. Lah. Okay, so it supports focus, clarity, and the thought process. Instead of being distracted, you know, you, you, you know that distraction kind of thing. So it gives you... Um, support so that you can you can finish that thought process without having that distraction okay so this is a good one and you need to dilute before application uh, the final tool that i'm going to talk about is ddr prime ddr prime basically uh, goes to the blueprint of your body which is your dna so again you find oils like um, summer savory thyme lemongrass frankincense again in this combination because it helps with cellular repair cellular repair is very important because when our cells are healthy they are robust the whole body wellness is tip top okay this is for everyone actually regeneration because when old cells die new cells need to be regenerated at a correct proportion right and of course for inflammation and there are many parents who give me feedback that upon using ddr prime consistently for a period of time they find that um, those who are having inability uh, with communication in effective communication in verbalizing words they were doing very well so this is an oil to try if you have such issues this is the final oil that i'm going to talk about today it's called adaptive now adaptive again is a combination of a couple of oils wild orange lavender copaiba spearmint and so on this gives your child focus and at the same time it helps to relieve those anxious feelings okay so it is energizing and at the same time uplifting and at the same time keeping your child calm you see so this is a very beautiful blend
that uh, a lot of parents use as well. They can diffuse it while doing work uh, and apply it on the chest and along the spine. The spine area is frequently used because that is where all our nerve endings are meeting and going up directly to your brain. So that is a very um, uh, common place that we usually ask you to apply and your chest, okay, and of course, inhale. And you can diffuse it if you want. Now, earlier I mentioned about cleaning your products, clearing your toxic products. So what are you supposed to wash your house or clean your house with if you throw everything away? Now, these are some of the oils. These are oils as in uh, essential oils itself. Oils like oregano, on guard, tea tree. Tea tree is malaluka. Lemon, lavender, and peppermint. These are oils that can be used to do cleaning. Green cleaning that is safe for Mother Earth and safe for your family and for your health as well. So if you're looking to mop your floor, you can use water, you can use white vinegar, which is very inexpensive, and you can use about four to five drops of your oil of choice, right? And you can clean well, um, really well, and you will not have those chemical smells lingering in your home. You can even use this combination to wash toys, your children's toys, uh, toilets and so on. If you are not keen to use the essential oil itself, they do have cleaning products like I mentioned, the On Guard Concentrate. You just use very little with some water and you can mop the whole floor very well and it helps to kill those unwanted um, germs as well, right? And uh, they've also got the laundry detergent as well, like I mentioned, because the clothes that we wear, the detergent that we use, the softener that we use, because a lot of us are so carried away with the advertisements of all the aroma, the nice smelling aroma, we forget that all those are chemicals that we are putting into our children's clothes and they are wearing the clothes and therefore the chemicals are going to be leached into their body. Okay, So this is why it's very important to start like Dr. Natasha said, cleaning the environment that your child is living in. There is so much of toxicity that we do not know we are subjecting them to, right? And even by cleaning all this toxicity, it's also good for us because these toxicities that we are putting into our system is affecting our hormones as well. So these are called endocrine disruptors and it causes a lot of issues long term and we call it like slow poison, right? So this is uh, almost the end of my sharing. Now, the oils that I have um, talked about today, they are not just those oils. There are so many oils basically, but I've just decided to choose a couple of those that many of the parents have used with excellent feedback to help manage the physical, mental, and emotional well-being of their autistic children. And because the usage is so wide, I am not able to complete talking about oils even in three hours or four hours. And that is why we have a team support, all right? So that we can maximize using these oils, not just for your child, but for yourself and for your family as well. Okay, so how are we going to get these oils into our home now that we know what they can do and how they can help us and our child, right? Okay, now this is a first, my first kit by doTERRA, right? Like, Earlier, I showed you a bottle of essential oil. Now, this is a 15 ml bottle and it has 250 drops. Earlier, I mentioned that if you're going to be using a diffuser to diffuse in a standard size room, you will need just four drops of essential oil. We use very, very little. If you are going to use a roller to apply on your child, depending on the age of your child, I will have to guide you on how many drops. Let's say your child is 10 years old. All right, you would like to make a roller of lavender to apply on him before he goes to bed. So you would use just 10 drops of your lavender essential oil. And the rest is your fractionated coconut oil. You can see that we use very, very little. It's very economical and very safe to use it this way. So this kit comes with the diffuser. The diffuser on its own is 200 over ringgit. Okay, so this is a very budget-friendly kit with lavender lemon, peppermint, tea tree, and wild orange. Now, a couple of these oils I did not mention in today's session because that is covered in my family wellness session. If you would like a recording of that session that I did earlier this month, I can always share that session with you so you know how to use these oils 
as well in your home. So for this one, there's a special gift as well. Uh, this kit is worth 1,000 over ringgit. So it's only going at 660 this month with free shipping and uh, guidance in my team. Uh, my guidance is actually in Telegram. Not everybody is going to Telegram, but we have been in Telegram for almost three years now. And also in Facebook, it's a closed group where we have a library of information for you to go through. You get a free, additional free oil called Smart and Sassy. Now, Smart and Sassy is not for your child. Smart and Sassy is for the parent. This is a metallic blend because for the past year of being in and out of MCO, we have been uh, indulging a lot at home, you know, with our home cooking and eating and everything. So we can start the year right with a bit of help uh, with our detoxification and our metabolism. This is a beautiful blend uh, with grapefruit, lemon, ginger, peppermint and cinnamon. So this oil is a favorite among women because it helps us with our cravings. Uh, it helps us with detoxification. We can add a drop into water and consume about half an hour before our meals. And it also helps to regulate our sugar level, right? It gives you healthy sugar levels. Uh, if you have, um, you know, family or friends who need help to regulate their sugar levels, their cravings, uh, to support metabolism, this is the oil. It's 15 ml and 250 drops. Now, the other kit that is available is the starter kit. Now, these are all 5 ml bottles, which is about 85 drops. And uh, the list of oils are there. And this is 670 ringgit, including the diffuser. Diffuser is a must. Uh, so that you use your oils. When you diffuse your oils, everybody, everybody in the house will be uh, enjoying the benefits. All right, because we all have to breathe, right? So this is a very uh, fast and uh, very economic way of enabling everyone to derive the benefit of the essential oil. And again, you get that smart and sexy free. Now, the next one is the family kit. These are all five oils, but you get additional two free oils. One is the Zendo that I spoke about earlier, Zendo cream or Zendo, the detoxification blend, and the smart and sexy. Okay? And the final one is the value for money kit, which I call the home essential kit. Now, this kit is valued at 2,000 over ringgit and it's currently being on offer at 1,300 ringgit. The diffuser is free and the Zendo and Smart and Sassy is free as well. So, these oils are all 15 ml. Okay, except for the deep blue, you will see it's a 5 ml. That is a pain relief uh, blend which I cover in my family wellness session. Again, if you're keen to know more about the basic 10, then please contact me after the session. I will um, contact you later on and share the uh, session for that one so you know how to maximize using the oils. Now, looking at all these oils, uh, you may not want to get the kit because you may feel that this is not something that I need for my needs right now. And you may want something that is tailor-made for you and your family and that can be done with combinations of oils and still being able to get the free oils. So this is what we call a tailor-made kit or a la carte kit. So if you're keen to uh, be able to get these oils to support yourself and your children, you can always reach out to me on uh, social media or my phone number is there. You can always send me a WhatsApp and I'll try my best uh, to handle the queries that you may have for me, right? So, uh, with that, I would like to end my session for today. And uh, if you have any 